Ubiquiti just dropped their new G6 doorbell, and I gotta say, it looks awesome. This update is huge. These new doorbells include Face ID, NFC badges, package detection, all in a very new sleek form factor. And it's pretty awesome because it looks like they also integrate with Protect as well as Access simultaneously. So that, that's a very interesting new feature, but we're going to go ahead and watch the video. I'm going to go ahead and react to it. And then later in the video, we're going to be going over some of the tech specs for each of these models and kind of what to expect. So let's get into it. Alrighty, so I have the video queued up here. So let's go ahead and give it a watch and see what they're releasing with the new G6 doorbell lineup. The all-new G6 Pro Entry brings the best of Unify Protect and Unify Access into a world-leading premium doorbell experience. So I gotta say, right off the rip, it looks fantastic, right? This device looks extremely premium. I love the form factor. I love the screen that's on it now, too. Just right off the bat, it looks super clean. And um, right off the bat, too, they also said Access and Protect. Uh, I'm going to be very curious to see how that actually works and integrates, but uh, let's continue watching. Powered by an insane wide angle, one over 1 1.6 inch, 12 megapixel sensor with a dedicated package view camera, crystal clear two way audio and a multi tops AI engine. It is simply so that's something to actually know the multi tops AI engines. It looks like it's actually has the AI on board with the actual camera built into it. So that is going to be a significant upgrade from previous doorbell generations that don't have their AI technology built into it. We've gone over a lot of that on the channel, but that is a very, very awesome feature to have built in and on board. Um, as well as that sensor looks, I mean, really solid. I mean, it's a doorbell. Um, so that, that's a really solid sensor for a doorbell. And of course the package camera, like we have on most of their other lineups. So uh, let's continue watching. Advanced doorbell ever created. Featuring full Unify access support, including NFC, touch pass, and face ID, and a customizable- So that is going to be very interesting. The face ID, the touch pass, all of that. I'm curious what we get on the access side of the house versus the protect side of the house, and if these are going to work in tandem together very well. I love my doorbell now. Most of you guys know that I have the regular G4 um, doorbell generation. Um, nothing like Pro or anything like on the access side of the house. So I can do a fingerprint and actually do like webhook triggers. I'm curious if we're going to get the same level of customization with these guys. It'd be super awesome like if I had my face ID kind of trigger a webhook to go unlock the door or something like that. Or if a lot of that's kind of going to be gate kept in the access side of the house and is going to be compatible with more of that kind of, you know, equipment with doors and actual access control versus more of a residential thing. But it's looking like it integrates with both. So I'm very curious as to what that's going to look like. So let's go ahead and keep on watching. Touch screen for branding, yeah. directories and guest pin entry. That's awesome. The G6 Pro entry redefines what a doorbell can be. For those seeking value, the standard G6 entry delivers the same protect and access integration in a streamlined form. While the doorbell light features a timeless design that is non-invasive and ideal for a wide range of deployment environments, bringing unified technology to everyone, starting at just $99. Experience the new- $99 is, wow, for onboard camera, and the actual doorbell functionality for $99. That, that's very aggressive. That That's a, um, that is going to be hard to beat for a lot of installs, professional, residential, or I mean, enterprise. That's a, that's a very competitive price point to hit for that product. Um, that, that looks very interesting too. I mean, obviously we don't get the, you know, any sort of the fingerprint ID and, and some of the package, you know, camera and whatnot and the, the touch screen. But I mean, if it, you're just throwing a couple of them in hallways, I mean, that's, that's a really nice form factor to have for internal to your building access control. Um, that looks like it can be thrown in a hallway extremely easily or, you know, like a classroom or something like that. Like that looks like a really, really solid form factor. New Unify doorbell lineup for yourself and catch an exclusive preview of our upcoming Pro AV Solutions this week at Cedia in Denver, Colorado. So the Pro AV, I wasn't going to hit much of that in this video, but I'm actually extremely excited for this as well. Um, 
because of the encoders and decoders, I want to see how a lot of that stuff actually works with some of their product because a lot of similarly priced competitive options are very expensive in the pro AV space, like very expensive. Um, I won't name some OEM <laughs> restaurant. Um, I won't name anybody, uh, but th they can get very, very expensive. So I'm, I'm very interested to see what this, uh, what this brings that pro AV lineup. I like that little snippet they threw in there. Um, so overall on this lineup, I'm extremely excited to see what is actually going to come of it as far as how the protect and access integrations kind of play with each other. Um, I'm very curious to see what features get exposed to which side of the house. Um, so let's go over the doorbell light. Obviously on their tech spec website, we get a couple of dimensions here. Um, you know, it looks like it's pretty much Ethernet only, right? So this wouldn't have any sort of wireless-based option for connectivity. Uh, looks like it's purely Ethernet. So, you know, keep that in mind for your connectivity sake. But that, I mean, $99 is pretty insane for a package like this. I mean, this is really awesome. I think the black one looks really sleek, by the way. I like that one a lot. Um yeah, not, not, not too much to be said about this. Just PoE, 5 watt consumption, 24 FPS. It's a full 4 megapixel 2560 by 1920 camera. So that's, uh, that's pretty solid. So next we're going to look at the G6 Pro entry. And this is the one that I'm really curious about actually getting hands on and being able to test with. You know, the form factor, the body, it, it looks professional, um, but kind of inviting at the same time. I wouldn't say that it's too daunting of like a, a doorbell. Um, if we look and kind of get into the screen a little bit here, we have like a QR code for, I'm assuming, integrated access for things like guests. You can use pins to also unlock things. Um, again, you get that three inch touch screen. You get time. It looks like you can put the time. The weather looks like this is going to be a very customizable product in typical ubiquity fashion. Um, again, this option is also going to have the speaker at the bottom and it looked like it also had a, a package camera too from the video. Uh, yeah, if we look under here, we have the LED light for motion detection and then the eight, eight megapixel five FPS package camera detection. And of course the RJ45 for PoE, there's and look, there's going to be a wireless option for this one. Of course, I wouldn't expect there to be one. This is going to be the, the pro model. Um, but yeah, you know, IP 55 weatherproofing looks like a pretty solid tamper resistant on it. I mean, I don't know what more you could want out of a access control sort of, you know, intercom camera doorbell. Again, biggest thing is how is it going to integrate in between access and protect, right? Like what are the differences I'm going to get out of that? Um, so and then next, finally, we have just the regular G6 entry. Now, this looks like kind of the same form factor, just a little bit smaller. And obviously, we don't get a touchscreen, but we still get a great camera with that 2K, 1, 2.7, 5 megapixel image sensor. Uh, again, still powered over Ethernet. And we get the same speaker down there as well as just the doorbell button. Again, looks pretty much similar. Um, we get that 8 8 megapixel, 5 FPS camera for the package. So all in all, a really exciting lineup. I would think I'm going to be very excited for it. As soon as we get our hands on one, we're going to make an unboxing and an installation video, of course. Um, and then that Pro AV stuff, that, that, that'll be something interesting too that they kind of teased at the end of the video. Um, we personally don't do a whole lot of Pro AV. It's been something that's been requested a lot for when we do integrations and stuff like that and we just you know always kind of either just put a regular switch there or just make it a separate vlan i am very curious how their pro av stuff's going to integrate with an existing unify network right like how could we adopt those devices how can we manage them alongside the regular network and kind of segment them that that'll be really cool to be able to not just throw dummy Netgear switches everywhere, right? For all of your AV solutions, like actually having a fully managed solution. And some of that encoding and stuff like that looks really cool as well. Um, those IP encoders or decoders, not 
too sure. Obviously, it looks sort of like a KVM almost with kind of the inputs that, that you get on those. I'd be very interested to see if Ubiquity would get into the um, IP video switching and coding decoding solutions because, again, <laughs> those uh, manufacturers are very expensive for their solutions. Um, so I'd be very curious what they're going to be able to offer in that, especially with... I'm assuming their core tenant of being license free, you know, uh, all of this being license free is, is, you know, a, a huge benefit, I think. So again, very competitive pricing on that doorbell light. I'm very excited for the whole G6 doorbell lineup in general. I love my doorbell. Again, you guys have probably seen that in the previous video where I have all the integrations with it works beautifully with home assistant and also in the protect app. So I'm a big fan of it. I don't like, you know, ring doorbells or, or things that send, potentially data to the cloud in an unmanaged environment and also charge you for that. You know, these are some of my favorite solutions because I just kind of get to build them how I want them. So overall excited for this lineup. Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments, what you actually want us to review in this lineup. Um, some things that you guys are curious about so we can go ahead and make sure once we do get our hands on these products, what we actually want to do with them. So thanks again for watching.